June 2021 comes with a new update for Hilti Construction Layout Software. The new update is version 4.1, and this video is going to briefly go over the new features on the software. The first feature is a simple one, but one that's very convenient. When you go to the Layers tab when you're drawing, you'll notice that when you close out of or hide certain layers on your CAD file, that even if you were to leave the project and work on a new project and come back into this project, these layers will stay hidden. Before that wasn't happening, they would all reappear, but now you have a lot more control and these layers will only turn back on when you decide to turn them back on. The next feature is in regards to auto zoom. If you enjoy having auto zoom turned on in your settings, the behavior slightly changed. Here I am, my crosshair is at the black crosshair and I'm moving towards the red point. Every time the black crosshair touches the red circle where my point is, it automatically zooms in for me up into the point where I get within about 18 inches of the point. Once I'm within 18 inches of the point, you'll notice that it stops auto zooming and lets me comfortably find my point. If auto zoom is a feature you like, hopefully it makes it easier for you. If you're somebody that doesn't necessarily enjoy using auto zoom and you prefer to do everything manually, that's still an option for you as well by simply turning auto zoom off in your settings. The next feature update is an improvement to the auto layout feature. This is a feature that's been with the tool for the entire time. However, they've now added a toggle option where you can quickly have the feature turned on or have the feature turned off. To access this toggle menu, you need to go to the layout function at the top of the screen and you'll be able to toggle that on or off as you please. I'm going to show you first what this looks like when you have auto layout turned on. As I'm laying out these anchor points, you notice that as I move and get near a point, the tool auto snaps to that point and invites me to lay it out. As I keep moving, whatever point is nearest to me, I can choose to stay and lay that point out or simply move to the next one without having to re-click a new point. Right here, I'm skipping over any stake points as they're already staked out, but any point that's not staked, it's inviting me to lay out. Please also remember that even if you are in auto layout mode and you want to lock onto a point and have the tool guide you to that point, all you have to do is simply tap on the point you want to lay out, the tool guides you only to that point, once you stake it, it'll then start to auto lay out the other points for you until you choose to select another point. Now, let me open my right side menu and turn auto layout off. If you think you might be the kind of person that prefers only to tap on their points to lay out without anything else confusing you, you actually might like the option to turn auto layout off. What you can see is I've selected AB17 as the point I want to lay out. Regardless of where I move in this location, AB17 stays locked to the crosshair, and that's the only point the tool has invited me to lay out. If this is what you prefer, simply turn auto layout off, and any point you choose will be the only point the tool is guiding you to. The next feature that's been added is this new screen view and canvas section of settings that essentially is going to show you all the settings related to your view as you lay out and add points to your drawing. Some of these settings have been there before and some are new and we'll go over each one that is new. The first is the show point height section. As you can see in the as built that I've created in the area that I am, I have several points that have been measured in with new names and heights. It almost goes without saying, but clearly if you turn these features off, you'll notice if you go back to your drawing that your height indicator, your point name and number indicator are now gone and all that remains are the symbols representing your points. Feel free to use this as you will for your own visualization preference. Now let's talk about the show point overlay which is a completely new feature in this update. This feature allows you to see your points on the camera of your tool if you are using a PLT 300. This is not a feature that can work with the POS 180, but the PLT 300, because it is a Wi-Fi camera based tool, this can work for you. For context, this is the room that I was in when I was testing this feature, just a simple office room with a ping pong table in the middle. I did some measure and recording of points with heights in this area so I could see what this looks like in an augmented reality. On my drawing, the points that I've measured, you can see that I've clearly labeled specific locations in this area. And I made sure that when I measured them in, I measured them in with heights turned on. And for reference, you can hopefully see that my floor 
has been used as my zero foot height elevation benchmark. Based off of that, you can see around these points, which points are higher, lower, and where they're located on the X and Y coordinate system of my drawing screen. Now that you've seen the points that I've measured, I'm gonna show you what this augmented reality looks like in the camera view of the PLT with point overlay turned on. All you have to do is go into your camera view of the PLT by pressing the arrow at the top of the screen. And when the camera turns on, you'll notice that those points that I've measured in will also be indicated in the PLT camera as if they're there in real life. But of course, this is an augmented view. You can see my floor is on the ground. The left and right side of the ping pong table are indicated as well as the middle of the ping pong table, just as I had measured it in. And it's also in the correct height location in the area. I'm sure there are many ways that you will find that this can be applicable in the field. But to give you one simple example, if you're laying out sleeves on a deck and you want to simply look at the points that you've staked and which ones you have not yet, you can quickly look through the camera and find the ones that are remaining. Please feel free in the comments to leave any suggestions you might have with this augmented reality view as well. And one final note about this augmented reality. Just keep in mind that this works better when you have a height coordinate for all your points. It is possible, as you can see here on the screen, to do this with heights completely turned off and with points measured in without a height. But just know that if you do that, the tool won't necessarily know what height value those points belong at. Therefore, it will simply place them at the center of the screen when the tool is looking directly forward at a 90 degree angle. That certainly can have its benefits as well, but of course, if you're trying to visualize things in an augmented reality view, heights with these points would give you that better depiction. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below.